Hello and welcome back to Pinella Bean Company. My name is Devine. And if you're new stopping by, hello, how are you? Um, today we're gonna go ahead and we are going to make a strawberry and, actually I mess this up every single time I try to say it. We're gonna make a chocolate covered strawberry soap. Um, I'm super excited, we're gonna have a, a bunch of typical colors that are gonna go with it, but I am combining two different fragrances. Uh, so I'm kind of curious to know how it's gonna perform. So, uh, let's get started. Like always, we have all of our base oils here and we have our light solution here. I'm gonna go ahead and incorporate the two of these and pour the light solution down the shaft of my stick blender and blend on low until they're fully incorporated. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then we'll separate out all of our oils for our colors. So I have these all separated. We are gonna be using three colors, titanium dioxide, um, really red mica from Nurture Soap, and, did you see that? And then Swiss chocolate from a TKB Trading, and our um, fragrance oil is Brambleberries um, Strawberry, and Nature's Garden uh, Chocolate Cupcake. And then we also have uh, all of our um, chocolate covered strawberries that we had made. So, there you go. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and I've already separated out the oils. I'm gonna go ahead and add my colors. So now that I've added my two colors, I'm gonna go ahead and mix these two and then I'll come back to mix the titanium dioxide. Now I'll go ahead and scrape this off. Then we're gonna scrape our buckets, add our uh, fragrance oil. Now, if you're new to soaping, this is not how you have to do your soaps um, in these orders, in this order. You can do whatever works best for you. This is just how I was taught. This is how um, I learned and this is what I know. So my way is not necessarily the correct way. It's just my way. And you can make your way yours. All the color, just to make sure that none of it's like on the bottom or anything like that. I've already pre-measured out my fragrance oil. I'm gonna go ahead and mix that in there. And this is actually the strawberry. Again, from Brambleberry. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and put this in here. Then I'll do the same with this as I did with the strawberry. I'm gonna try to hand mix it in. It's been a long time since I've actually worked with this particular fragrance, so I don't really remember how it acts, but we'll see. So far, so good. So at the same time that I'm mixing this in, I'm also scraping the bottom and the sides of the container. And then I wanna get everything that I have up here from pouring everything out. Uh, I wanna get it down in there. All right, so I think that's good. We'll go back to the strawberry and blend that one in. But first, before I do that, I am gonna mix my titanium, my titanium dioxide in. Okay, put that off to the side. Go ahead and put this in there. Wipe this off. Hold on, I have a visitor. You can come in anytime you want. <laughs> now I am gonna scrape off my stick blender because I don't want any of this titanium dioxide to actually be in my strawberry because I don't want my strawberry to look like it's like um, a pink almost or a muted red. I really want my strawberry to be bright and vibrant. So not only, I know I have chocolate in there, but that's okay. So even though I do have some ricing, I did have some ricing with the strawberry, um, it's easy to stick blend out. So even, and also this has come to a thicker trace. So I wanna get moving on it 
and I don't want it to get so bad to where I can't actually do anything with it. So I'm going to scrape the sides of this one and put that up to the side. I am going to do an in the pot swirl. So we're going to go ahead and put this in here. I'm going to put those two off to the side. I'll scrape them out later. I'm not going to worry about it. Um, I'm going to take my uh, spatula and clean the sides of the container and then I'm going to come in and probably swipe across a couple of times just to get a good mix and around and back down and we'll clean off this. I'm going to scrape out what I have left in this container and put it in the big bucket. All right, so we've got all that scraped out. I'm just going to put this in the container, I mean in the mold. So I have that all in there and I went ahead and smoothed it all out. I'm going to put this to the side and I'm going to go ahead and make our um, our topping. So we'll be right back. Okay, so we are back and I'm going to go ahead and start piping this on there. We're going to go ahead and do three dollops apart across and all the way down the mold. I'm using this star tip, which I think you guys can see it. Yeah, there you go. And um, this uh, chocolate cupcake from Nurture Soap and the combination of that and the strawberry absolutely is amazing. It smells so good. It smells so good I almost want to eat it. And those strawberries look spectacular. They look almost real. So many times I've made, um, that I've made in beds and um, a couple of my daughter's friends will come by and was like, oh, I want one. I'm like, stop eating that. Don't eat that. Whatever you're doing, stop. And then they realize, and they should know better coming to my shop and wanting to eat something. Not like I have a bakery here, which I think is the funniest thing of all. So they should know better. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and start on this end. And we're gonna do the second row. The white is starting to show through. I put the white at the top of the piping bag um, just because I, when I did the very next row, I wanted to make sure that um, we had contrast when it came to, at least that's what I'm trying to do, uh, some sort of contrast with the strawberries. All right. build these ones up a little bit more because I want a little light on them. Okay. Oh boy. I always worry that I might not have enough because I want every single one to look absolutely perfect. Um, we're going to go ahead and just put our strawberries on and go from there. I have about two more loaves that I have to make for these so I'll have plenty and plenty to go ahead and have for you guys and have for on the website okay I'm trying to be really really careful where I place them mainly because I know when I go and cut if I cut this with the multi bar cutter then I'll end up cutting off some of the strawberries and that will defeat the whole purpose of what we're trying to do. Okay, so now that we have these on here, um, I'm going to go ahead and just leave it as is. This is what it looks like. 
I'm not adding any sort of glitter or anything like that. And we're gonna go ahead and leave this. We have uh, 18 to 24 hours before we're gonna be able to unmold this. And we will come back, and we will come back and um, cut it. We'll see you then, bye. so we are back to cut our chocolate covered strawberry soap and we are cutting this with our single bar cutter because I was too afraid these embeds are kind of large and I was too afraid of chopping one of them off and then it kind of takes away from everything that I worked for just to get them absolutely perfect and I just I don't know I don't want to do that I want to make sure that they're how they're supposed to be and look the way they're supposed to look and I want them to be perfect for you guys. So bear with me for one second and I need to measure this. So now that I have that measured, now that that's done, we're going to go ahead and cut this beautiful loaf of soap and hopefully not cut any strawberries off in the meantime. Um, this fragrance smells amazing. It smells exactly like chocolate covered strawberries. I thought it would be perfect for Valentine's Day or just really for any time. Anybody just wants to smell like chocolate covered strawberries. <laughs> um, since I am back about 24 hours later to cut this soap, uh, it's still very soft. And I think that primarily has to do with the fragrance. Um, I did a combination of two different fragrances and I, I believe if I remember correctly, yes, they were from the same, no, they were from different companies. And um, I think just the formulation of the two made it uh, to where it's just, it's a softer bar of soap. It will harden though. And um, as it hardens, I'll probably just keep it, uh, I'll probably keep it to where it's not available um, on our website right of way. I might um, just go ahead and keep uh, it in our drying rack for maybe a couple extra weeks, just in case. Uh, I just wanna make sure that the bars of soap are as hard as they possibly can be before you guys use them, um, just so they last longer. Typically, that's what ends up happening when you have a bar of soap, uh, you want it to dry out. I remember being a child and my mom always opening up the packages of soap and I could never understand why. So finally I asked her when I was an, an adult um, and she said, well, the harder the bar of soap, the uh, the harder the bar of soap, the um, longer it will last, which totally makes sense now that I know, you know, how to make soap. So, and that's always a good philosophy to uh, go by. Whatever it is that your mother, grandmother, or great-grandmother, or anywhere in between, <laughs> they said, uh, or they did, it's definitely probably your best bet to go ahead and follow that same thing because for some reason I think they were just they knew things that we just don't know these days they just knew things that I don't know how they knew them but they just did so I typically follow what she says or what she does all right can you imagine these with a bunch of um, chocolate covered strawberries and as a gift and also um, these with um, red roses as a gift I think that would be absolutely awesome I've always wanted to make piped red roses on like a popsicle stick but they would be obviously they'd be soap obviously it would be soap um, but my piping skills, as well as they are nice, they're not as fancy as beautiful piped roses should be. <laughs> I love the swirl in this. This fragrance, like I said, really smells good. My whole shop smells absolutely amazing. Um, I'm excited. You know, there could be worse smells, I guess, that you could have at work. All right. We are halfway, we're almost to the middle, I wanna say, with this. So I think this is kinda 
for the most part the way the bar is going to look when it comes to the the center swirl um, I haven't found any pictures yet which I do like to find which I love finding whenever we make soap um, but yeah so anyways um, I'm gonna go ahead and finish cutting this loaf of soap please don't forget to follow us on Twitter Instagram Facebook don't forget to subscribe below and I will see you shortly on our very next video which will be coming out very soon because we've got a ton of them for you guys so you can continuously keep watching us so i hope you have a great day and we'll see you next time bye bye